In my opinion, there are only three different types of YouTube videos. Three total. There's only three types on the whole of YouTube. And I'm going to tell you guys why I think that is. It is super important for you guys to understand which one of these categories or a blend of these categories your videos fall into so that you can make sure that you're making something that offers value to people that are going to be viewing them. All successful YouTube videos contain one of these three ingredients. They are very specifically one of these three types. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by Storyblocks and I'm going to be talking to you about them a little bit more later on. So what are the three types of videos that you guys need to be looking out for? In my opinion, the two main ones are education and entertainment and the third one is anything that you're going to get some sort of shock value from. You got to think about anyone that's coming to YouTube whenever you're watching a video or if you're searching for something, you're kind of generally looking for one of those three things. As you guys know, I've been trying to learn like flying the FPV drone, but I've had it for so long and I never like have the time or I just don't like do it. So if I'm going to get any good at it, I need to spend a solid amount of hours like playing with it and flying it. So the plan for today is we're heading down to the beach. We're gonna go fly it out of here. There's so much space. Right. Woo! Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Come on, you're up, Anna. Uh, I feel like it goes too fast. Woo! -hoo -hoo. <laughs> Thought I might have gone off the edge there. <laughs> <laughs> so here's <laughs> kind of like that, man. here's kind of how I like to think of it. Is People at the end of the day are selfish with their time for the right reasons. They definitely should be. Everyone should be. The only reason why people spend their time watching some sort of video is because they can gain something from it. They have to be gaining something from the video that they're watching. Otherwise, there's no value to them. And as much as they might like you, they're not going to waste their time watching a boring piece of content that they're not getting any value from. Let's talk about the first one and arguably what I find is one of the biggest ones on all of YouTube and that's gonna be education. Think about anything that you're watching, even this very video that you're watching, you clicked on it because you figured that you could gain something from it, you could learn something from it, you could figure out what the only three types of videos are on YouTube. Hey. Sorry. <laughs> you gotta think about anything that people are searching for a lot of people are going to search for that on YouTube to learn how to do something. If you want to learn how to make videos, anything that you type in that starts with like how to, how to knit, <laughs> how to shoot B-roll, how to make a YouTube video, that's all going to fall under the category of education. I definitely would not have picked this place to come and fly the FBA if I had have known how much of the beach was actually water. The whole thing's water. The one thing that is a sure way to kill your FPV drone. You gotta risk it for the biscuit, is water. <laughs> okay, we're gonna fly the drone from here in the dunes and try to stay like above this. At least the dunes give me like some stuff I can work with. I did envision like kind of flying on this mountain, which is just too far away. Um, and I wanted to like fly down some cliffs and stuff. Whatever. This will be fun anyway. I just need the practice. I just need to put the time in. So. so the next type of video that you guys are going to see is some form of entertainment. People don't always just want to learn things. Sometimes they just want to be entertained. Sometimes, yeah, like, like a lot of what you would see on TikTok. Any style of vlogs that you might see where you're just watching the person go about doing things, doing some sort of fun activities. You're just being entertained. This is like a lot of movies, a lot of like sitcom style like series. Entertainment is a kind of harder one to create because you've got to start thinking about how you can create something to be entertaining. It's easy to almost educate people if you just share some of your knowledge but it's not always easy to be entertaining. So you got to work on how you can 
make your content entertaining if that's the type of video that you guys are trying to create. I was just watching the video, look at all this paint on Anna's knees. I've been painting. <laughs> you can tell. <laughs> okay. So you can think about like even this video, for example. In my opinion, something like this, which is for the most part an educational video. Imagine how boring it would be if I was just sitting with like a blank wall behind me and going like, you need to do this, you need to do that. I introduce some of the entertainment aspect to it, which is flying this drone and we playing on our bicycles and hanging out with Hannah and hanging out with Jason and it becomes a lot more of like an entertainment overflow into that educational video to make it more fun and entertaining. <laughs> Grass, dude. I thought you grass. That's the closest I've ever been to crashing it. <laughs> Holy. See, that's why I don't want to fly above the water. Didn't crash. That's a success. Nearly crashed. Kind of crashed. I hit something, but it didn't crash. I totally thought I crashed as I hit the grass. If the grass was something less, like, flexible, like a rock or something, it would have been done. The last style of video that I want to talk to you guys about is something that has some sort of shock value in it. So this can be a lot of things, but think about any like old school traditional style viral videos generally have some form of shock in them. Like any fail video, anything where an athlete maybe achieves something crazy, like a motorbiker does a triple backflip, anything that you go like, whoa, or anything that you like, what? I need to share that with my friend. Any sort of thing that induces that like, ah. Shock can also be something more subtle. So it doesn't have to be something so crazy that you literally go like, oh. <laughs> it can also be something like if you take some of my videos, for example, and we show you guys how we film a behind the scenes like B-roll. And then at the end of the video, we show you that result, the B-roll that we managed to film and that's kind of like the shock value at the end. It's like the reveal of that. So it doesn't always have to be so crazy. That's why people give cars away in their videos because it gets that shock so like in their video and that's what, something that people really like to watch and makes content that's very shareable. That's probably the most shareable type of content and that's why all of those like viral type videos are generally like something that involves some sort of shock getting pretty cold on the beach and the summer day that I was hoping for is actually quite a cold and chilly gray day so let's head back. So today's video is sponsored by Storyblocks. Storyblocks is an online stock media library with over a million different assets. I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about this before and that is because they are an incredibly powerful tool for creators like you and I. If you guys are looking for any B-roll assets or anything you wanna play over your footage to keep it interesting, there are so many high quality stock footage clips on Storyblocks that you guys can use. When you sign up for Storyblocks, you pay one small monthly fee and you get unlimited downloads. So that means once you guys are signed up, you can keep using all of the content on Storyblocks for as many of your videos as you want. They don't only have stock footage, they have music, they have sound effects, and they're the place where I get pretty much all of the sound effects you hear on my channel. They have motion graphics and loads of other assets. Storyblocks has an initiative called Restock, which is an ongoing initiative that's working to create a library of footage that represents everyone from all different communities. They're doing things like putting a spotlight on various LGBTQI creators and committing to at least 20% of their footage by 2022 containing black, indigenous, and people of color. I think that's something that is awesome to notice, and it's a pleasure to be working with a company that is interested in making such a difference in this industry. If you guys want to find out anything more about Storyblocks, go and check them out. I'm going to be leaving the link in my description. By supporting them, you're supporting me as a creator. 
So go and check them out if you wanna benefit from what they have to offer. So let's conclude on our three types of videos. And I think something that's super beneficial for you guys, if you're ever trying to figure out any video ideas, trying to figure out where your video should kind of take its direction, keep these three different categories in mind and it can help you think of ideas and it can also make sure that you're keeping your video on track to be something that people are gonna enjoy and get value out of. In my personal opinion, having a mix of two or three of the categories all into one video is by far the most beneficial way of doing it. You can have a tutorial, for example, that is just someone standing in a room talking very boringly, like a college lecture, for example, and that is not gonna perform that well on YouTube. But if you take that same tutorial, the same way that I did something for this video where we're out and about, we're having fun, we have B-roll laid over all of the valuable information and educational content, that's all of a sudden making this educational piece of content a little bit more entertaining and just a little bit more enjoyable for the viewer to watch. Furthermore, you could even include some form of shock value. Maybe it's a reveal at the end of your video if it was a tutorial on color grading, for example, and then towards the end of that video, you show the before and the after, which is this like crazy, whoa kind of moment that could become something that might almost be shareable and that's gonna be your shock value for the video. And if you can get all of those three into each one of your videos, I think you're gonna have a winning recipe to make content that people enjoy watching and that they get the most value out of. Anyways, that's my little thoughts on the different types of videos that you guys can get on YouTube. Remember that if you wanna find out anything more about Storyblocks, they're gonna be linked down in the description. That's gonna be it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something new, and I'll see you in the next one.